when you go by bicycle, everything kind of slows down and you're outdoors, you're connecting with your neighbors, you're like waving at people. People smile at you when you're on a bike, they don't smile at you in a car. And you're kind of just keeping an eye on everything that's happening in nature. So I feel like 50% of my job is paying attention to what's blooming around me at what time, like what the weather is going to do. And farming in general kind of connects you with the world around you in a way that like graphic design doesn't. After high school, which I, in high school I was very involved in like doing art and stuff like that, I wanted to go to art school, but my mom was like, I'm not gonna pay for you to go to art school. You're not gonna get a, you know, like a job as an artist. And I was like, okay, that's totally fair. So I went and got a design degree doing graphic design. I ended up getting a really good job right out of school, but ultimately things started to shift in my own life. And I moved away from design and took a beekeeping class with the Chicago Honey Co-op. And I was just fascinated by bees. And I was like, I want to be involved in beekeeping and I have no idea where to start, you know, or like if I was going to go back to design or if I was going to start something different. And then in the fall, I went out to Eugene, Oregon, where I kind of learned like the hands-on aspects of beekeeping. Because like you can take a classroom course, but then I didn't know if I could like actually handle being inside like a hive full of bees. Turns out I could, and I loved it. He had this great system where he had satellite locations all over the city of Eugene, like at a, an elementary school or a blueberry farm or somebody's backyard. And we would drive around in his truck all day checking on those hives. And I was like, I'm gonna do the same thing in Chicago, but I'm gonna get a bike trailer. And I'll just do it by bike, because I don't have a car, and I wanna do everything by bike. It's very important to me to prove that you can do anything without a car. I move couches by bicycle. I do bike tours. Like, I rode to Michigan. Why wouldn't I do beekeeping by bicycle? Like, it just made sense to me. That winter, I put together a Kickstarter to raise about $7,000, and I started asking around at community gardens, like, hey, would you like to host a hive? And everybody said, yeah, pretty much. So then I started that next spring with 10 hives and visiting them all by bicycle, and that's kind of where it began. I think a big part of Bike a Bee is like by having bees in community gardens, then people in the community who garden there, they get to actually like see bees at work. And that kind of takes this mystery away from them because most people are just blindly afraid of bees. You know, like I was stung once as a kid and I hate them forever now. I had this one magical community garden that was one of the first ones I was keeping bees at, Fulton Community Garden. They were very apprehensive at first. They were like, is it gonna sting our dogs? Like, they were kind of fearful of it. But then by the end of the summer, they like called the bees their ladies. They loved having the beehive there. So it just kind of like transformed all the gardeners there from being apprehensive about bees to being like, oh, we love it. Bees are basically the middleman between plant reproduction. So, hold on, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how to fucking explain this. Um, pollen is the male component of a flower, and then the ovary, which is like where the fruit is, or the seeds are, that's the female component. And what bees do is they approach a flower thinking that they're gonna get the free lunch, there's nectar there that the flower has secreted to attract them, and the male part of the flower dusts all this pollen all over the bee, and then the bee, while foraging on that flower, connects that pollen with the female part of the flower, and then that completes the like mating process. Bees in general are kind of like this essential link in 
plant reproduction. Why should we care about plant reproduction while we eat a lot of their fruit? like the fruit of their labor. Apples, strawberries, watermelon, these are all things that have been pollinated by something, whether it be a bird or a beetle or a bee. We eat that, like that's our sustenance. I think there's some stat, like it's a third of everything we eat is pollinated by some kind of insect. So we, we need them as part of our ecosystem. I think buying locally is gonna be way better across the board if we just focused on smaller local economies and quit, you know, taking resources from countries that are poorer than ours. Like, honey is just one part of what we all should be doing to support local farmers and farmers that have a smaller footprint getting to market and stuff like that. It's really hard out there for a lot of farmers. So I think thinking less global is always better. <laughs> Beekeeping, especially in an urban environment, has really connected me to natural systems throughout our planet. Like, when you get out of your own stupid human world and you connect with something so different from you, and you have to, like, look into their lives and, like, how they function, there's something really powerful with that that I think more people should do. My name is Jana Kinsman, and I'm the founder of Bike a Bee.